So there was a sit down exclusive with Alec Baldwin, and he says he never pulled the trigger. Hmm. Let's let's watch it and find out. Hmm. So what's happening here, Bob? Well, you know, the interesting thing to me is that I remember day one, gunfire on set, accident, producer killed, cameraman or cameraman killed, producer wounded, no big deal, all <laughs> so upset, you know, terrible, terrible accident, bald when all, you know, just so down in the dumps, clean cut, accident, sh- shit will happen. <laughs> The gun handler, no big deal. It it just happens. It's an accident, right? Well, here we're a month and a half later, and it's getting deeper. Right. We're getting more info. Something like last week and a half I heard where the headline, I said, okay, because the headline said, Baldwin is getting lawyered up. And I Mm. said, I knew it. Now, Mm. just personally, I've never liked the guy. Mm. I think he's one of the probably the largest assholes on the face of the planet. Right. But the point is, this isn't going away. It's getting deeper. Mm -hmm. It's getting bigger. And something's there. I'm not quite sure what it is, but you'll have to admit it's growing. And now he's interviewed on national television. And and guess what he starts doing? He starts crying. Well, it's evidence. Do not talk. Until you talk to your lawyers. Do not run your mouth. I know. <laughs> right. we, we did a podcast on this before, and he was in Vermont, and he had, there was uh, the paparazzi was following him, and he actually talked to them, and he, he gave us this sob story about how she was his friend, and he never said he, – he talked about using the gun, and it was an accident – but he never said anything such as, like, I didn't pull the trigger, I never touched the gun. He admitted that it was an accident mm-hmm. on video. So yeah. this is – this exclusive is a whole nother thing. So what do we believe? She was someone who was loved by everyone who worked with and liked by everyone who worked with and admired. I mean, even now, I find it hard to believe that. It just doesn't seem, it doesn't seem real to me. You haven't said much in public since that tragic accident. Why speak out now? I think the big question, and the one you must have asked yourself a thousand times, how could this have happened? You've described it as a one in a trillion shot, and the gun was in your hand. How do you come to terms with that? It wasn't in the script for the trigger to be pulled. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I I would never point a Really? He didn't pull the trigger. How did it happen? Does he not know how guns work? The devil made him do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> he had an out-of-body experience. <laughs> you know, one thing that's making me really mad about this is look at the production value that this asshole is getting. He got the stage to try and sway public opinion. Why didn't Kyle Rittenhouse get something like this? It looks like, like there was a huge payout for them to be able to tell this story. Right, and and, and I mean this exclusive one on one. So it, it's it's all staged, and so it's he, to protect him. Like right. I mean, I'm sure there's a scripted story for him to say like, everything correct. Same here. thing that happened with like Hunter Biden. You know, he got to come out on some fancy show and talk about how he never did anything wrong. Yeah. It shows what money will do. Right. Money can protect you. And even Kyle Rittenhouse said that. Like, imagine if somebody else wasn't afforded the opportunities that he was and there hadn't been video, then it could have gone another way. He'd so. be in prison for life. Got anybody to pull a trigger at them, never. What did you think happened? How did a real bullet get on that set? I have no idea. <laughs> Someone put a live bullet in a gun, a bullet that wasn't even supposed to be on the property. How do you respond to actors like George Clooney <laughs> say did, have y'all read where they've actually traced those live rounds to a local gun shop now? through? I know they, oh, yeah, they said there it. was a local shop where a lot of production companies went to get their stuff. Yeah. For that it, and there was thing. a mix of live rounds and dummy rounds in there. So hmm. that Every time they were handed a gun, they checked it themselves. Your emotions are so clearly so right there on the surface. You couldn't you have done shocked. it because... You're you so emotional. Anger. You felt sadness. Do you feel guilt? You said you're not a victim, but is this the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Yes. Yep. 
Except for when Trump got elected president. (laughs) (laughs) And I think of what could I have done? You could have checked the gun. You could have played with the rules and not had a, been waving a gun around, asshole. Yeah. That's I mean, they're ha- pointed done. at it. At there a has sent a photographer unless he was told to do that. But you don't point a live. There a has real gun. to be video of this. He's on a movie set. Like, how is there? She not was video? filming it. <laughs> how is there not video? Like, did they scrub the tapes or something? I mean, you know, sometimes you can have a gun. And uh, you can just point it at something and go bang. And it's a real gun. And you right. have your cleaning it and your dog's playing around the yard. Or you see the kids. But to actually have a working pistol in your hand and literally squeeze the trigger down. Give me a break. You just don't do that stuff. And like he said, yeah. I'd never point a gun at somebody and pull the trigger. Well, that's exactly what the hell he did. Right. See, my granddad, he, he has tons of guns, but he practices gun control. And he cannot stand when children point toy guns at each other because that's like where you start learning. And my, my daughters were playing with a pistol, a toy pistol. Like a Nerf De- gun or something? Definitely, yes. Last week, and I was like, you know, uh, your granddad would say, don't point the gun at people. And they're like, what are we pointing at? I'm like, just shoot your toys or something. You yeah, know? shoot at the wall or something. Do not point a gun at somebody. And, I mean, that's just one way, but, you know, that's how you practice uh, safe gun skills. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, another interesting thing, we haven't heard any more about the armorers. Where'd they Alec go? Baldwin. You know? I mean, in the beginning, that was all we heard. But now they've just disappeared completely. You're talking about the, you're the talking people about that are in charge of handling the gun, yeah, yeah. cleaning it, taking it apart, making sure the dummy rounds are there. Yeah. I mean, oh, look, here's one that's live. Let's have some fun. <laughs> yeah. Stick that in there and spin it. Happy I, I, mean, the... <laughs> I think she's armored up. I mean, I mean lawyered up. To yeah. Make, you know, so to make sure that she doesn't say the wrong thing in this case. And, they know this she, is going to be a court man, case. She the man. armorer. Oh, yeah. She's got a lawyer, and the lawyers have come out and said things like that there was no live round that uh, when she checked it. Yeah. I, so I, there's a lot of conspiracy I, out there. And I guarantee there's some payoffs going with, with Alec Baldwin that are going to get people paid off so he never has to go, you know. That's he probably never the has reason. to face charges. Yeah, and – you kind of have to recognize these things for yourself. Like when you see an interview like this, there's a reason it's played up and it's oh, to make no, you feel sorry for no him. No doubt. Like, and not and disregard what the armorers lawyers are saying. It, it's to make him look like the victim. I think what's interesting too about this one is we don't have the FBI uh, involved. Right. We've, we've got local, honest, good, tough cops mm-hmm. and DAs and they're in a rural type area setting. They're going to get to the bottom of this because it is not. The, it's well, not rocket science. Well, unfortunately, the FBI is rooting out white privilege everywhere, so they're, yeah, they're doing a yeah. good job. Yeah, I got to you know connect and care Mayor Lightfoot. Make sure she's <laughs> yeah. got she's protected. Light out in Chicago, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're coming after a local school board. Mm-hmm. Too, so. It will be interesting to see what uh, develops, but they're obviously getting set up to try to help him with that big time interview where yep. they they'll show clips of that in the damn courtroom mm-hmm. where he's breaking down emotionally and all right. this stuff. So they're there to help him. Yeah, so I think that comes out tomorrow night. So we'll mm-hmm. be watching and we'll be commenting on the free speech yeah. forum. Come to the free speech forum. There's a thread out there. Everybody's discussing yeah. this. Yeah, and you know what? Please tell us where you think he's guilty, and uh, you know, is re- is there something nefarious going on here? Yeah, is it like comment. he says it? Did he? Is it truly a, a terrible accident, or did something? Is something dark going on? Well, Baldwin would always play like Trump on Saturday Night Live, so Saturday Night Live should do a skit about this. <laughs> <laughs> Have him come on. Oh, I don't think they'll cross that line. What, no. Like making fun of himself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, this has been fun. Uh, Thanks, everybody. Yeah, we'll see you on the next podcast. Yeah, we sure appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe and take care.